Guys, we are live from the quarantine. And I am super, ooh, I am really out of frame there. Okay, and I am super excited to do this workout with you today. This is a Coach Josh special, so um, let's, see, let's see how this goes. And um, uh, if you have um, a dumbbell, great. If not, this can be a total body weight exercise um, uh, circuit. So uh, story of the day, I have told this story before. It is definitely one of my favorites. It's been one of my favorites, especially um, during the pandemic. And I think about this story a lot. And it's about that farmer who has um, uh, his, he has a horse and the horse runs away one day and he's going to have a hard time doing any of his farm work. And so his neighbors come over and they're just like, oh, what bad luck that your horse ran away. And he goes, eh, good luck, bad luck, who knows? And then um, about a week later, the horse shows back up with a whole bunch of other wild horses. And so now the farmer has like his horse back and then a whole bunch of other horses to help him out. His neighbors come over and they go, oh my God, what good luck. And the farmer goes, good luck, bad luck, who knows? And then the son of the farmer goes to break one of the wild horses, gets bucked off the horse, breaks his leg. The neighbors come over and they go, oh my God, what bad luck. You've lost your son's ability to help you because he broke his leg. And the farmer goes, good luck, bad luck, who knows? And so then the king decides to go to war with the neighboring country and sends out his soldiers to get all able-bodied young men to fight in the war. They can't pick the farmer's son because he has a broken leg. And so the neighbors come over and they go, what good luck. You, um, you, your, your son can't go to war and, and uh, he'll be able to still help you on the farm. And the farmer goes, good luck, bad luck, who knows. And I feel like that is such a great story to have during the pandemic, especially because to, to, to say something that is, is good or bad is to put a, a mindset to it. So we're either putting a fear mindset or we're putting a challenge mindset. And the farmer is just kind of seeing how things play out, you know, as opposed to the, the, um, the neighbors that are really trying to label this as a good or bad thing. And each time it kept ebbing, ebbing and flowing as far as like what just naturally happened, you know. And uh, naturally, in this in this in this in this story, anyway, um, uh, I I really really like this because I've been trying so hard during this entire pandemic to find the positive things. How have I grown? How what have I learned? What have I learned about my business? What have I learned about about myself? And um, and just staying in that challenge mindset has helped me stay positive, as opposed to oh woe is me, this pandemic fell upon me, and blah blah blah. You know, so anyway, we got that going on today. We are going to go ahead and get warmed up. Hi, Stila. Um, if you have uh, dumbbells, great. If not, this can be a total, uh, a total body weight workout. That is not a problem. So let's go ahead and start with small shoulder circles. Now, if you want, you can also do this kneeling and really, really activate those glutes, or you can do them standing. So now, as I'm getting those shoulder circles in. I'm going to go bigger and bigger and bigger. Wah, wah. All right, getting those big circles in. Now I'm going to go the reverse direction. I'm really feeling those shoulder blades squeeze as the back, at the back as I'm doing these, all right? I'm going to go bigger and bigger, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this vertical plane where I'm bringing those arms back and forward. Really getting those shoulder blades warmed up, those shoulders, those arms. All right, now I'm gonna go into this horizontal swing pattern. Woo, nice. All right, let's work on our shoulders just a little bit more. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring my arms forward and I'm gonna reach out of, my, out of my shoulders, I'm gonna reach forward and then I'm gonna bring my shoulder blades down. I'm gonna bring my shoulder blades together at the back and then up to my ears. So I'm, I'm making these really small, very deliberate surgical 
um, circles with those shoulders, really isolating this movement. Five, okay, let's go back the other way about five times. Up to my ears, bringing those shoulder blades together at the back, down to my hips and forward. While we're working on the top half of our body, let's go ahead and take those arms and, and get them really, really straight, nice and tight. We're gonna have our thumbs pointed up to the ceiling and we're gonna do our neck circles. Let's go five times in one direction, taking it slow. Oof, crackety crack crack. And then we're going to take it five times in the other direction. All right, next we're going to go knee to chest. So I'm going to bring my knee up to my chest and hug it as high up as I can get it, really bringing that pelvis forward at the top. Now, if you're having a hard time with balance, like I just fell over, <laughs> go ahead and try to find a spot on the wall in front of you that you're staring at to help you with that. We're just walking in place, bringing that, those hips forward to get that nice little stretch. Ha, yeah, all right. Now we're gonna do our walking quad stretch, but we're gonna just stay in place. So we're gonna grab one of our legs. We're gonna really stretch. So I want you to really feel this through the obliques of the other side of your body. As you're reaching up, bringing that pelvis forward again to get that nice stretch in that quad. There we go. All right, one more time on each side. Wow, nice. All right, next what I wanna do is this figure four stretch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my ankle, I'm gonna grab my knee, I'm gonna pull it into my hip, and then I'm gonna go to the other side. So I'm trying to get this really nice stretch on the back side of my thigh. Yeah. One side is definitely tighter than the other. Yikes. I'm holding my other knee just to make sure it stays stable. Breathing with this, breathing. Nice, guys. One more time on each side. All right, let's get our hinge position warmed up. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna start with our Ys. So I'm gonna have my feet in a narrow position. I'm gonna go into this, this hinge like I'm gonna start an RDL or, a, or a, um, um, a bent row. And then I'm gonna bring my arms out to the sides. So I'm coming into this 45 degree angle with my arms and then back down to my knees. Coming up, back down to my knees. Now you should really feel this in your hamstrings. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Nine and 10, nice. Next, what we're gonna do is, let's shake it out for a second, and then we're gonna go into our T's. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come directly out from the side, okay? So my hands are gonna be in line with my shoulders. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Give me a pause at the top with these. Nine and 10, nice. So. The next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my W's. 
So I'm going to have my elbows together. I'm going to have my hands together. And then I'm going to get into that hinge position. I'm going to bring my hands right out uh, next to my shoulders. And I'm going to squeeze those shoulder blades together at the top. So my elbows, hands come in tight. Bring them out. Pause at the top. Come back in. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Nine and 10. Great job, guys. Next, what we're going to do is our, this is a part of our homework. So we're going to be going into our squat with hamstring bias. So I'm going to widen out those feet. I'm going to come into a deep squat. I'm going to grab my toes. I'm going to rotate out. I'm going to rotate out. And then I'm going to lengthen those legs, bringing my chin to my chest, really getting those those hamstrings to stretch. Come back down. I'm going to rotate out, rotate, grabbing those toes. All right. This is such a nice stretch for all the different body parts. All right, give me one more. Get a really nice rotation with this. And stretch. And then I want you to roll it up slowly. There we go. All right. So for the next part of our warm up, we're going to do each one of the exercises in the two circuits that we're going to be working on today. Make sure that we get familiar with it. Make sure that we work on the form of this. Today is not a speed strength day, so I want you to take all of these exercises really slow and controlled. Again, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, that's great. You can use that. If you don't, don't worry about it. We can totally do this body weight um, uh, um, circuit. So what we're going to start with is if you have a dumbbell, we're going to do a goblet squat. So I'm going to grab my dumbbell. I'm going to widen out those feet a little bit, squeezing those glutes at the top. Come down, making sure to get at least parallel, and then really blast it and squeeze those glutes at the top as you come up. So for the purpose of the warm-up, I want you to give me 10. When we're in the circuit itself, we're only going to do five because the circuit is going to be an AMRAP. It's going to be as many rounds as possible. Sometimes we say as many reps as possible. It just depends on what we're doing, but this is going to be as many rounds as possible because we're going to try to get as many sets as possible. I think this is seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. Next, I'm going to do my yoga windmill. So I am going to come into this high plank. I'm going to bring my one foot forward. I'm going to reach out towards you. I'm bringing this knee over this ankle and really getting that back leg really strong. And I'm reaching. And then I'm turning my hand. Now my hand gets turned to the other wall. I'm going to come into the world's greatest stretch where I'm pulling that elbow down to the ground. Take it to the other side. Reaching, 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 taking it slow, following that hand with the eye. Coming into that world's greatest stretch. Go ahead. Give me one more on each side. These feel really good. Rotating. All right. Nice. Guys, then we're going to go into our push ups. So, whether or not you're doing it from an elevated surface like a countertop or a couch, or the back of your minivan, um, whatever, whichever way you're doing it, or if you're doing it from the floor, I want you to give me five perfect push-ups right now. Keeping those elbows in tight, either tight to the body or at a 45. Don't bring those elbows out. Everything is on. You're squeezing everything together, keeping that butt slightly raised, coming all the way down 
and up. Give me five. Nice. All right. And then we have our dumbbell reverse lunge. So if you have a dumbbell, great. If you don't, do not worry about it. Standing tall, bringing that knee to about an inch off the ground. We're not doing a long lunge with this. We're doing a shorter lunge because we're trying to get strength out of it. All right, so I want you to really squeeze those glutes at the top. Go ahead and give me five on each side. And five. So those are all the exercises in our first circuit. Then we're gonna go into the exercises of our second circuit as far as our warm-up is concerned. And we're gonna do an overhead squat this time. So if you have a dumbbell or two or none, it does not matter because you're just gonna have your arms raised up overhead as you do this, all right? You can even grab a book, coming down and up. Three, give me 10, four, five. Get that depth, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. All right, then we have our lateral lunge with walk around. So I'm going into my lateral lunge, going deep into it, hands next to my foot, coming out into this high plank, coming back in to this side, walking it back out. That's one on each side. We're gonna do two on each side. And two, nice. Then we're gonna do a partial push-up. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna go fully to the ground, nor are we fully gonna extend up. We're gonna keep that constant tension the entire time. This is gonna be a lot harder than a regular push-up. My shoulder is bugging me, so I'm gonna do this from an elevated surface. So I'm here, I'm in my push-up formation. I'm coming down, I'm not gonna to touch the surface. I'm not gonna extend those arms. I'm gonna do this five times. Constant, constant tension. Don't let those abs drop. Don't let that butt drop. All right, we got that. Now we have our lateral lunges. So going into my lateral lunge, step back in. Lateral lunge, step back in, all right? Trying to get long with this, get that butt to that back wall, get all that weight onto that lead leg, and then let that lead leg get all the weight as it pulls you up, all right? So go ahead, give me five on each side. Ha ha. Long, long, long with this. Awesome. So that is all the exercises in both of the circuits. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take a little bit of rest, grab some water. I'm gonna set the timer for eight minutes. We're gonna do as many rounds as possible in eight minutes. So you will have those first four exercises that we did, which is the dumbbell goblet squat, the yoga windmill, two on each side. I'm sorry, the dumbbell goblet squat is going to be five. All right, so then we're going to have yoga windmills, two on each side. We're going to do five push-ups, and then we're going to do five dumbbell reverse lunges on each leg, okay? All right. I hope you guys are ready for this. It's going to be awesome. So you only have those four exercises. You can go faster or slower than me. Just don't make this into a speed strength day, all right? 
I want you to be slow and controlled with it. And we're starting in three, two, one, five. Squats. Get deep with it. And five, nice. Now I have my yoga windmill. Putting down my weight, coming into my high plank, foot next to hand, back leg is really straight, bringing that knee over that ankle, hand goes to back wall, elbow comes back down, switch it out. Guys, take your time with this, don't rush it. Feel that nice stretch. Think about where you're feeling this in your body right now. Think about if you have one side that feels tighter than the other. All right, we're just doing two per side. Nice. All right, now I'm gonna go into my push-ups. Feet together, knees together, butt is slightly raised. Coming down to my surface and up. Down to my surface and up. Three, four, and five. Nice. Then I have my dumbbell reverse lunges. So for my dumbbell reverse lunge, stepping back and up, keeping my upper torso as upright as possible, keeping that back knee about eight to 12 inches from my front heel. That front leg takes all the weight. I'm doing five on each side. One more. Now, with this circuit, we're trying really hard to not take rest until we're done with our eight minutes of work, all right? So I'm going back into my dumbbell goblet squat. Just five of those. All right, then I have my yoga windmill. Foot forward, reach, reach, reach. Watch that hand as it rotates, rotates that shoulder, that arm, come down into that world's greatest stretch. Take it to the other side. Reach, reach, reach. Give me one more on each side. All right. Awesome. Now we have our push-ups. Give me five perfect push-ups. Five, getting those lats on, nice. Now I have my dumbbell reverse lunge. Again, guys, taking my time. I want to feel these as strength movements, but I'm still getting my heart rate up because we're not resting. Five on each side. I lost count. It's okay, I'll just do one more. All right, going right back into my goblet squats. Guys, we have three and a half minutes left. Squeezing those glutes forward at the top. Lock it out, lock it out. Four and five. Yoga windmill time. All right, 
Coming into this high plank, bringing that foot next to hand. Knee comes forward, back leg stays really straight. I'm reaching, I'm rotating that hand. Hand goes to back wall. Bring my elbow down as far as I can go. Switch it out. Reach, reach, reach. Take it to the other side. All right. Whoo. Just two on each side. Then I'm going to come into my reverse lunges. Yay. This is two. I'm going to keep track this time. Here's three. Four. And five. Great job, guys. Going right back into my goblet squats. We have about a minute and a half left. Two. Three, four, five. Awesome. Yoga windmill. Whee! Reach, reach. Follow that hand. Full rotation of that shoulder. Reach, rotate. Get that back leg straight. Reaching. All right. Then I get to do reverse lunges. Yay! Challenge mindset. We get to do the thing. Two. Three. Four. And five. Awesome. 12 seconds left. What do we got? How many goblet squats can we get in? Three, four, five. Ha ha! Nice job, warriors. We're gonna take some rest. I'm gonna get some water. Hope you're gonna get some water too. All right. So, while you're resting, I'm gonna walk you through these next four exercises. We did them in the warm-up. Yay, we get to do push-ups, that's right, Stila. All right, so we're gonna do our five overhead squats. Gotta love those squats. Keep those arms up and as straight as possible the entire time. So you're going to do five of those, and then you have your lateral lunge walk around. So, I'm going to come into that deep lunge, hands next to foot, coming out into my high plank, coming back in, stopping for a second, coming back out, feel that deep stretch. One on each side, I'm sorry, two on each side, and then we have our partial push-ups. So we're not coming all the way down, nor are we coming all the way up? Keeping that constant tension. How fun are these? Coming down, stopping about here, getting about 20% from the top and the bottom. Those are gonna be burners. And then we have our lateral lunges. So if you wanna grab your dumbbell for those, great. You're gonna step into it, getting into that deep lunge, 
stepping into it, getting all that weight onto that one leg, all right? We're gonna rest for probably about another 20 seconds and then we're gonna get back into it. Still trying to keep that art rate up. Another set of eight minutes, as many rounds as possible. If it was as many reps as possible, we would do as many overhead squats as you could until you couldn't do it anymore. So this is as many rounds as possible. So we're gonna be starting here in three, two, one, get it. Overhead squats, five, five. Still give me that depth. Three, four, five, nice. Lateral lunge, walk arounds. Coming into that deep lunge, high plank. My butt is at the same level as my shoulders coming in. That's one. That's two. Nice. Next, I have my partial push-ups. Yay. So, coming down and then slightly up, slightly down, not full extension. Keeping that tension. Five, nice. Then I have my lateral lunges. So I'm gonna grab my dumbbell, get that butt pulled to that back wall, get that long lunge, five on each side. Look how convenient it is that I'm already holding my dumbbell. Toes are pointed out, arms straight, coming down into my squat. Two, three, four, five. Nice. All right. Lateral lunge, walk around. Yay. I like these little mobility interludes. Thank you, Coach Josh, for these. Two on each side. Our partial push-ups, five of those. I'm always yelling at you to make sure you come all the way down. Don't come all the way down with this one. Four, five. Then I have my lateral lunges. All right, so for my lateral lunge, getting that butt to that back wall, coming back up. My back is still flat, staying in those lats. Don't curve that back. Two. Four. Ah. And five. Nice. Going back into my overhead squat. Woo! Four and a half minutes left, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Lateral lunge with walk around. High plank. Come back in, get that stretch. Here we go. And that's it, two on each side. Partial push-ups. You get to feel like a superhero with these. Two, three, four, five. 
Nice. Lateral lunges. Get all that weight into that leg that's bent. That's the leg that pulls you up. Don't push off with that straight leg. All the strength is coming out of that lead leg. Awesome. All right, guys, we have three minutes left. You got this. I have every confidence in you to kill this circuit. Two, three, four, and five. Nice. Lateral lunge with walk around. Make sure you're getting those shoulders over your wrists. Don't come into an A-frame position where you're pushed back and your butt is up in the air. Your butt should be level with your shoulders. Now I got those push-ups. Partial, you'd almost think saying something is partial, it would be easier, but no, this is harder. Five, nice. Lateral lunges. Three, four, and five. Nice, guys, we have a minute and a half left. Let's get after it. Overhead squats. Two, three, four, and five. Nice. Lateral lunge, walk arounds. That's one. This is two. Nice, partial pull up, push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. All right. Then I have my lateral lunges. Woo. Get deep, get low, get long. And five. Guys, that was it for those eight minutes. Nice. So, get my dumbbells out of the way. Let's do some abs. We got time to get some abs in. Actually, let's grab some water. I got so excited that we got done with that. Just wanted to go right into the abs. Let's, let's uh, grab some water. Yeah, and or get your mat set up or your blankets or whatever you're using. Maybe you have a tarp, Sarah, since you're out camping. All right. Guys, bicycles. Let's go ahead and do 10 on each side. So I'm gonna go opposite elbow to opposite knee as I keep those shoulder blades off the ground. Get that other leg straight. Four, four, five. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, all right. Next, I'm gonna go into my military crunch. So what I'm gonna do is arms are extended. 
Knees are bent the entire time. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna reach through, come back down. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Guys, while we're down here and we're in this position, we're gonna do penguins. So I have my feet in close to my butt. I'm gonna come up onto my shoulder blades. I'm gonna reach as far down my shoes as I possibly can. 10 on each side. Eight, nine, 10. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do that again. All right, we're gonna start with our bicycles. Hands behind the head, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Get that other leg really straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Going into my military crunch. Arms above head, reaching through, back down. You want to make this harder, grab a dumbbell. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Going into our penguins. Whew. Feeling those abs warm up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah. Hey guys, let's make it three sets. I promise that's it, all right? Three sets, here we go. Bicycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Feeling that? Military crunch. Really try hard to activate those abs. Letting your abs pull you up as opposed to throwing yourself. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Ten. Penguins on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Guys, while we're down here, might as well get into that homework. Let's go ahead and do our 10 knee grabs. All right, we got this. Arms in close to your chest. Throwing those hands forward. Use those shins to help you up. Coming back down. Whew. Three, yeah. Abs feel nice and warm now. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, woo! All right, let's go into those T-spine push-ups. Got my T-spine push-ups, gonna widen out those feet. I'm gonna come all the way down. I'm gonna rotate out. Come all the way down, rotate out. This is two. Oops. And 
five. Woo! Ha-ha. <sighs> awesome. Now we got those deep squats with hamstring bias, guys. Get into that deep, as deep of a squat as you possibly can. Grabbing those toes. Rotating out. Rotating out. Grab those toes. Bring chin to chest. Come back down. Rotate out. Rotate out. Chin to chest. Come back down. Rotate. Rotate. Get that nice hamstring stretch. Okay. One more. And then I want you to give me a slow roll up. Feeling every single one of your vertebrae as you roll up slowly. Aha! And, um, just bringing it back to that, er, that story that we talked about, you know, it's good luck, bad luck. How do you frame your world? How do you frame your mind in order to, to bring out the best? In order to bring out the warrior within, because that's what we're always trying to do, right? Like, and that's, that's a really serious statement um, as far as you know, being a warrior is concerned, because we're really trying hard to battle those things that in the world that keep us down, you know, that keep us from being healthy, that keep us from being happy, you know, and that's how you're a warrior, all right? So we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within and if stealing. It's funny that I have Stila and I have Sarah on this call, oh, because of all the, all the poop talking that was happening on the Facebooks. And it was funny because I was reading that post right before, right before this workout and Sarah was right. Sarah was the first one to bring up, maybe we should have a moratorium on high fives when the coronavirus first came out and everybody was like, nah.